Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I will likely be disappointing a lot of you. Uh, we're going to be talking about the refresh rate capable on LG's new 27GN950-B. Um, so prior to all of this, prior to its release, LG advertised this as 144Hz 4K panel with the option to overclock to 160Hz uh, using the on-screen display, which is basically just another way of saying using like the menu built into the monitor. So they advertised that for quite a while, um, but now that it's actually released, that is no longer an option. They're not even, you know, admitting that it was ever an option really. Um, but we have some evidence that shows that it was advertised as being capable of being overclocked to 160 hertz. So um, what I have up right now is the current uh, product page. So this is LG's website for this monitor. Uh, there's 160 hertz, is, there's no 160 hertz on this page. Uh, we'll do a control F, type in 160. I need to get on the right window. Um, it only shows the resolution um, with the 2160 vertical pixels. Uh, we have another reviewer saying there's no way to overclock 260 like they said before. Um, so that's where we're at. There's no indication on LG's product page that this is capable of 160 hertz. However, if we bring in some other windows here, um, you can see. So this is tomshardware.com. Uh, they clearly show, uh, they say right here, it can be overclocked to 160 hertz. Um, so this article was written back in July of 2020. So that was a couple months ago. And even up to that point, LG was still saying 160 hertz. Now, if we go to PC monitors, they also say with support for 160 hertz refresh rate. If we continue on to Display Ninja, uh, it's also possible to overclock the monitor up to 160 hertz by enabling the overclock option in the on-screen display menu. So let's try to do what that says uh, using the on-screen display menu, basically the built-in menu screen for this monitor. So we'll go to the settings. And here we go. So the display shows 144 hertz right there. Um, adaptive sync on, HDR off, response time fast. Uh, and so let's go through the menus here. I'll show you uh, the game mode. This is basically like your preset color settings. Uh, I have it on Gamer 1, there's Gamer 2, there's really a bunch of them. There's no kind of high refresh rate option. I'm going to switch back to Gamer 1 because that's what I like it at. Uh, let's go to Game Adjust. This is where it should be um, under the Game Adjust settings. As you can see, the only options we have are Adaptive Sync, which is enabling G-Sync and Free Sync. You'd probably want to leave this on. Um, black Stabilizer, Response Time, Crosshair, Game Reset. I've tried a lot of different combinations of disabling and enabling these different settings. So disabling Adaptive Sync, um, seeing if there's an another option once that's disabled, uh, changing the response time. Um, I've also tried, let's see, where was it? Changing the DisplayPort version. Um, so DisplayPort 1.4 with display stream compression. That is the only way you can achieve anything higher than 4K 120 hertz. Um, so disabling or moving to DisplayPort 1.4 without display stream compression uh, just drops you down to 120 hertz. It doesn't give you the option to go higher, obviously. Um, so that did not work. Um, nothing under input. If we go back to picture adjust, this is basically just all of your color profile settings, so brightness, contrast, all of this good stuff. Um, DFC, it's just a automatic brightness control. Nothing here. Uh, there is absolutely no option for changing the refresh rate. We'll go down here, local dimming, buzzer, on-screen display lock, information, as you can see. You know, there's a lot of different places where it shows 144 hertz, but that's all it's going to show unless you drop it to something lower. Uh, it's not actually going to show anything higher than 144 hertz. All right, so it's definitely not an option in the on-screen display, like basically every article is saying. So let's keep moving on here. Uh, we have another article from... Tweak Town, um, you know, right in the, the header of the entire article, 
144 hertz with 160 hertz overclocking option. Again, nowhere to be found on this monitor. There's no option for that. If we go, let's just for fun, let's go into the NVIDIA control panel and I'll show you what options we have. So we have the LG Electronics display, uh, 3840 by 2160 native refresh rate, albeit it is 144, 95, and 60. Uh, I've also tried dropping the color bit down to 8. Uh, that doesn't do anything, so I keep it at 10. There's, you know, dropping down to 8 still does not give you that 160 hertz option. Let's close out of that. So I thought, well, why don't I just, you know, go directly to LG, see what they say. Uh, so this is the email response I got. So right in this middle paragraph, uh, regret, regarding your query, um, we have checked the details specifications of the unit and it shows that the unit cannot be overclocked to 160 hertz. The maximum refresh rate of this is 144 hertz at 3840 by 2160. Using HDMI, which is not true, HDMI 2.0 can only go 3840 by 2160 at 120 hertz. Um, so that is not true. And DisplayPort interface, uh, which is true. So LG themselves said uh, this unit cannot be overclocked to 160 hertz. So, well, let's try to find a more reliable source than Tom's hardware or PC monitors. Let's go to LG themselves. So this is an old article or an old product page for this monitor. I'm not exactly sure where this product page was from, um, but the URL indicates it's from the SA market. Anyway, if we check this out and compare it to the US product page, as you can see, they're basically identical. Not much of a difference between these two product pages, but um, anyway, if we go and scroll into right here, so here is the basically the highlights. Um, as you can see on this one, they show six different options, uh, the resolution, response time, all that good stuff. And then if we go over here, there's four options. One of the options, 144 hertz overclocked to 160 hertz. They'd still advertise this as 160 hertz capable. Yet I have an email saying it's only capable of 144 hertz. So I don't know if this product page is outdated and they got rid of the overclocking option or what, but it is very disappointing to basically be advertised a monitor that can go to 160 hertz when in reality it can only go to 144 hertz. Uh, so that's definitely disappointing to see. I will leave a link uh, to LG's website, this product page where it shows 160 hertz. I'll leave that in the description. Um, I don't expect that link to work for very long. Uh, I'm sure LG will take it down rather quickly uh, once they find out about this. So um, that's it for this video. Sorry to bring you bad news. The LG 27GN950-B uh, was falsely advertised as being capable of going 160 hertz when in fact it can only go to 144 hertz. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next one.